I'm really excited to talk with David Valenzuela today. Uh, he is one of the fleet managers uh, at HiveMapper. Uh, he's uh, building out a fleet on HiveMapper. And so I'm just really excited to get to know him, his fleet, and his plans with HiveMapper fleets. So David, to start, before we jump into your experience with HiveMapper, tell us more about yourself and your fleet. So perhaps like how did you become a fleet owner? Awesome. Yeah, so uh, in a nutshell, you know, I started our reading about high mapper about September and the whole concept of mapping and installing a dash cam in your car and, you know, getting paid in crypto just by doing something you already do kind of got my attention. Right. And it looked very similar to kind of the concept of kind of how Helium started, you know, and since I do Helium as well, I just thought this was just a perfect opportunity uh because it just a, it just started eventually so uh from there i made my first purchase on september i did uh, two dash camps i still remember and then from there i i i was thinking i'm like i think i should buy more and eventually i i purchased more dash camps and then from there as the dash camps have arrived i'm now dedicating myself to finding eventually uh, drivers to expand the fleet on my end okay great um, tell us more about your your fleet, like number of vehicles, type, uh, drivers, like where is your fleet located? Awesome. Yeah. So right now I have about 10 drivers on the on the on my fleet management management app in HiveMapper or in the dashboard. And I currently have another 17 pending to send uh, the cameras outside or the cameras to them. So in a nutshell, I do have some drivers in Austin. I have some drivers in Juarez, in Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. And my main focus here is uh, we're locally here in El Paso, Texas. But that's mostly where my fleet is, eventually trying to see if I can expand on Mexico City and even Dallas, where you know the rewards are really good on there. So, <laughs> Wow, amazing plans. So how did you first hear about HiveMapper? HiveMapper first? Uh, I think I heard it around September, right? And I was uh, just reading an article or I saw a YouTube ad. And from there, you know, the ad was pretty funny and it just got my attention. I'm like, hey, it sounds pretty easy. So that's where I kind of like started my my whole research on HiveMapper. Yeah, about September of last year, 2022. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, so why did you decide to deploy HiveMapper across your fleet? So I do believe in the vision of HiveMapper. You know, it's a really, very complex and very um, complete project that brings real world application and does solve a lot of problems in a sense, in a decentralized matter, right? So kind of like building a map by the people, for the people. And mm -hmm. from there, I just got the inspiration and say, well, this is a sim simple concept that I can just convince somebody to join, you know? And from there, it has been really easy convincing and talking to people about the project. It's a very simple project to, to talk to people about, you know, especially when it's talking about crypto, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, crypto, blockchain, oh, that's complex. You know, but HiveMapper, it's very easy to explain. And from there, that kind of encouraged me to take it to the next level and develop a fleet from there. Excellent. Um, how many HiveMapper dash camps are you planning to deploy across your fleet? At the moment, I'm planning to deploy 30. As if it becomes easier eventually on, on the recruiting of drivers, which I believe it will, you know, I might want to expand the fleet up to 50 probably, or it depends, you know, it, it really depends. If things go really well and it becomes easier on recruiting drivers, you know, the sky's the limit, probably even reach up to 100. What are you hoping to achieve with HiveMapper fleets? Like share your goals. Yeah, definitely. And this is where I got really excited, you know, because besides helping the goal of HiveMapper, which is mapping, you know, you get rewarded in crypto, right? So the like my whole vision besides getting, you know, rewarded in crypto and driving the whole concept of people actually using the data, you know, and just regular people kind of like I see it in the vision, probably like the next, in a sense, how I see it, this is just my opinion, of course, you know, like the next Google that actually has 
um, data that actualize or that updates every day, you know, mm -hmm. and that you can use it. And as this technology and this project keeps going, you know, I keep getting excited, more excited because of what can come on the, like the cameras right now, right now is a dash cam, but what about 360? You know, in the future it could be 360 and then people will eventually, you know, be able to use the API from HiMapper or their maps and switch the gears, you know, of how we normally use this app compared to HiMapper and the benefits, you know, I'm like, oh, this is how it looks now. And even going further, you know, in the cap of capabilities of HiMapper, like even mapping those trails, you know, I was thinking like when for hikers, you know, how cool would it be to have like a dash cam that probably you can connect or something? I don't know if it's going to be possible in the future, but that's kind of like the vision I have, like for those hikers, you know, they'll be able to map and probably get uh, to walk and then in crypto while they kind of mapping in a sense, right? Uh, but that's just like my vision and kind of how I see it and how HiMapper brings me excitement every time I'm thinking about the possibilities and how people can actually use it, you know, and I just share that with everybody I know. That's wonderful. It's so nice to see your enthusiasm and excitement for HiMapper. Um, it is it is a very ambitious project. The network is growing. Um, as you've probably seen, like the map is growing exponentially. So it, it is amazing to see this vibrant community build, build out around it. Um, so, and it's it's really thanks to people like you. Um, so I'm curious, how um, how are you going about onboarding and training drivers to use HiveMapper? Really good question. So normally I like to learn it first, right? So one of the things that I was talking to some of the high mapper team members i'm like hey you're a fleet manager and you're driving i'm like yeah i'm driving and i have two cameras i'm like oh yeah let me see your setup and then i have like an outside setup so how mm -hmm. i go about the, the the training and onboarding new members is pretty much i get the experience myself i get to experience also the issues what and how to troubleshoot them and from there based on my experiences you know and my troubles and my troubleshootings and all those issues once i have solve them myself or i've gone help from high mapper team then it's just a matter of going to the to the to the driver teach them all the best practices how to navigate through the app you know how to make sure that the, the dash cam looks every time you're, you're mapping you know what to do what not to do if this happens make sure that the, you you do this make sure that you have enough uh I mean, storage in your cell phone right little things like that so that's kind of how I go about them, just pretty much from experience. From my experience, I just transfer that to them. And for them, it has been a really smooth experience as far as the mapping. It's just as easy as connecting, start mapping, start driving, and off you go. OK. Well, on that end, I have like a follow-up question. Do you have yeah. maybe one or two tips you can share with everyone who's watching? Um, it, it seems like you have out, outside mounts. Like, yeah. especially that, I think there's a lot of interest in that. So um, how did you solve that? What would you do for outside mounting? So for outside mapping, I got an inspiration back from a Discord uh, post back like two months ago that someone posted. I'm like, I think I can do that better. <laughs> and then uh, from there, a little bit of my background, I'm a civil engineer, you know, so safety is kind of like something that revolves around me you know make sure that if i'm going to have something outside if something fails i need to have a, a backup right mm -hmm. so as far as the tips you know um to go to the question the tips is if you want to provide the best coverage have a mount outside mm -hmm. simple term, right simple terms have it secured you know have good suction cups and in my end i have two suction cups one that holds a camera and another backup so in case if this fails, this one can grab it, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, that's like a safety thing, uh, at least for myself. So I feel really comfortable driving. And on the second tip is, there's like a lot of tips that I can really give that are very important. But the first is the, the outside mount, if you wanna get the best coverage and best rewards as well, because rewards are also based on the quality that you provide. So exterior really remove the whole reflection thing so and you you have really good quality imagery and the second tip i guess i would say is just make sure that you're driving safely <laughs> you know <laughs> so 
and it, you know, it sounds funny, but it, it is true because when you are driving, sometimes probably some people don't, but I personally do sometimes that I get distracted, you know. But the, the most important thing is that if you're gonna check something, make sure that you check in a stoplight or something that you're right. not checking it as you drive. And it sounds very basic, you know, it, it's not even related to high map or anything, it's just safety. So make sure that's my second tip I have for drivers to make sure that if there's an error, you know, something disconnected or something, hold on, you know, and stop on a on a light, analyze it and then go from there, right? So I know probably not something that everyone was expecting, but <laughs> it is. Yeah. It's excellent. Thank you so much for sh sharing your um, um, your tips. Very, very valuable information. Um, so I'm curious now, um, what is your experience with HiveMapper overall so far in terms of the HiveMapper app, the Explorer, you know, the, the dash cam support? Um, you know, tell us a little bit more about your experience so far. Yeah, definitely. So I'll start with the team on HiveMapper. You know, uh, the team has been really great. You know, you guys are outstanding, very knowledgeable. You know, um, I've gotten a lot of resources and help from you guys eventually, especially on Discord. So that's on, on the team itself. The app, my gosh, you know, great improvements, you know, an update every single week. I still remember about um, a month ago, or, um, yeah, where I started mapping and all that. You know, the app is completely way better like a thousand percent better than how it was previously now we can even see the little imagery over here you know i can see what the dash cam sees i can see how many pictures are moving so compared to the just the gigabytes that was previously i can see what the dash cam has what my phone has and what has been uploaded so on the dash cam itself the app i'm sorry has been really great improvements and i know the team keeps working on getting that better and I know there's a lot of room for improvement and I know they're working on that. So uh, that that would be on the app, outstanding on the Explorer, you know, still really good, especially on the fleet management tool that they just developed, they just came out, you know, pretty straightforward on the on the fact of connectivity. I know previously it was kind of hard to connect some fleet drivers to the fleet management tool, but I know HiveMapper the team has been working to get that solved and pretty much is very, seamless it's a really um, smooth process to get fleet drivers to join the fleet now and things have been improving of course i know the explorer has a bigger much bigger potential you know hopefully in the future i get to the to see i'll get to to find like a username really quick on the explorer rather than to use a sort and all that stuff you know there's workarounds eventually you know but i know this is just the beginning and i cannot just and I can't wait, you know, for HiMapper to continue growing exponentially to come up with all these innovations and improvements within the app and the Explorer as well. Thank you so much for sharing your your goals for HiMapper, your goals to build your fleet with us today. Really appreciate your time. Oh, definitely. I really appreciate you guys and thank you for inviting me over.